Unhoused people often face challenges meeting their basic needs, like accessing a toilet. And in 2019, there were more than 30,000 reports made to the city's Department of Public Works complaining of poop on the sidewalks, inspiring the city to expand public toilets through the San Francisco Pit Stop Program. The program's been around for a little bit over five years now. They put in these public restrooms strategically placed throughout the city of San Francisco. There's 25 of them throughout the city. We're out here in public spaces that, that need, there's a need for it. If we tend to restrooms, we keep them clean, we sanitize them, and we transform the space around them by cleaning the area around them. You got a lot of public places now that don't allow people to come in and use the bathroom. When you got people on the streets that need to use the bathroom, they can always come to the pit stop. Cab drivers know where we're at. Uh, Amazon workers know where they use our restrooms. A public restroom is clean, people feel safe. But for me, I always say the punctuality, the cleanness for the trifecta is engaging with your community, uh, making them have a different experience when they use a restroom, uh, making them feel safe to come back to use that restroom, uh, connecting with, the, with our practitioners where when they walk down the street, they say hi to them or carry a conversation, how sometimes they just want to be heard. I remember this day I was working the unit, I let them cut the line. I, like, oh, I asked, do you mind if this person uses the restroom? And she was having quite a hard time and she, she was able to go in there. She went in there and she came out and she wanted to sit down. We had some crates and she was like, I just need to sit down. I could tell she was having a moment and she shared and I gave her the ear to listen to her. And she just talked about, man, you don't know how good it feels to be able to go into a room. Even for a second, somewhere semi-warm, use the restroom, come out and wash my hands. She said, I splash some water on my face, get some paper towels in, and just be able to relax. And she said she was like, she was really happy. She was really thankful that we were here to be out here to uh, monitor these bathrooms, you know what I mean? Researchers at Berkeley have studied the effects of the program on reports of poop to the city. For each new pit stop that was created, we did a before and after comparison to see if the number of poop reports went down after the new bathroom was installed. In the Tenderloin, when you installed new pit stops overall, we did see a significant reduction in poop reports. What was really interesting is that we saw this effect not only with brand new restrooms that were installed, but also when you take a previously existing restroom and simply add attendants to the restroom to make sure that it's safe and clean and stocked with supplies. So, you know, what this suggests to me is that both quantity and quality of the restroom matters. So the greatest thing about the Pit Stop program to me when it comes to serving people is, is compassion. Right, we treat everybody the same when they come to this restroom. Give them someone a space where they can go in privacy and use the restroom. It provides them with dignity. Homelessness is part of a broader failure of humans to provide for basic needs, and it's a sign of the socially destructive effects of unchecked inequality. Public toilets are not a comprehensive solution, but they are essential for health and human dignity.